<laughs> and I'm upset. <laughs> Turn him up, please. I don't know what you know. I tried it. I tried to do it. (laughs) uh, I don't know. Is that your? Nope, that's not me. That's not me at all. Nope. That's me. Nope. Nope. Oh my God. There I am. There I am. It's another episode of The Wanger Show, number 123. 123. It's easy. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. ABC. Yeah. We can't sing that song. Um, Oh. (laughs) We're not going to sing that one. (laughs) Episode 123 of The Wanger Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome, Welcome to back, the program. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we got another guest this week. His name is Mark Ellis. He's a Thank comedian. You. He's Good a podcaster. I don't know how you. He's a comedian. Sure. A good film guest reviewer, podcaster. Friend, sure. film reviewer. Kind film, of still. A film critic that film doesn't critic. complain about Arclight's policies Not on the yet. interweb. And uh, he's here with us. Personality. Personality. Ooh, are you I like a, that. Would you, do you like influencer? No. Mm. I don't like it. When I think influencer, I think of like drinking a Pepsi on a warm summer day <laughs> yeah. on Instagram. Oh, would you say a midsummer day? <laughs> influencer. Ooh, look at this. Can I get one of those two, wow. actually? Yeah, actually. How many, more, how many more you got down there? All right, so here's what happened here, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Earlier today, um, how many beers do we have? Uh, the, uh, six the Pacificos and then two of the Everybody's going to drink one. I'll drink one. We, had, we, we brought a couple of Coors Lights, the Thank standard the size, earlier today. Bullets, boys. And we're really excited. Cheers, uh, cheers. cheers to... Uh, damn it, Cody. You're, good. You're about to be... <laughs> what the Thank hell you. happened there, Brian? Look, there was something on, on the top. Cody, you have to... You have to you well, you guys just rushed into it, man. You guys rushed into it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do this again. Want, cheers, now guys. Now we'll do a proper cheers. cheers. <laughs> there we go. Mountains uh, are still you blue. Have, you have to touch it, too. Sorry. Yeah, come on. This Always. is how toasts work. I love I know, touching you, it. You and, then you have to, and then you say what you're toasting to. In this case, we are toasting to the monumental film achievement, and I'm a film reviewer known as Teddy. <laughs> hey! Cheers. Thank you. Would you give it a... We were talking before. Would you cut a little promo for it and say something nice, and then we cut it out, or you can Absolutely. just say nothing? Yeah, Quick no, like no. I, I can seconds. say a lot about Teddy. All right, Cody's going to direct it right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it, Mark Ellis. I yeah. can say a lot about Teddy. You know those quotes that we were going to put that up there? I can say yeah. a lot with the with the car Teddy. driving by. Not that bad. Yeah. You remember in Nightcrawler when it was like those quotes were coming up, and it was saying like it's fucking amaze balls. Oh, do you really? remember that? Yeah, no. that was were like the quote. Twitter that ones? One? Yeah. Oh, they were using Twitter. Reviews. I, or actual reviews said I think that? I, something said fucking amazeballs. Oh, no. Wow. Look it up. Nightcrawler. Yeah. Fucking I would use balls. all the ones that you always see attached to horror movies that nobody's heard about, mm. where it's like, it's furthers the genre <laughs> in a <laughs> spine-tingling way. One of the scariest way. experiences ever put It's always, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, either was that it really? or the scariest <laughs> so thing. hyperbolic like that. Scariest thing since The Exorcist. Yeah. That comes out about once a year. A man was sure. stabbed in the theater <laughs> next to me. <laughs> yeah. And he loved it. <laughs> this movie has killed three people. And then the fire alarm watching. went off. Yeah, I remember section. the all-time best article in like Star National Enquirer. Uh, when I was a kid, we always like would laugh at like because the sun was the best one because sun would have like Bat Boy. He was like big yeah, on like yeah. the fake tabloids. But there's always a National Enquirer, and they had an article Elvis about lives. um yeah, it's all that kind of crap. And they had one that's like there's this horror movie that came out in Australia that has killed sixty people because <laughs> 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 they're so scared to watch it. <laughs> and, and I remember reading that and thinking like, well, look, if it's one or two, I can see them making it up. But yeah, sixty people. 60? That's mm. that's got to be that's real. That's on record. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What what movie is this? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What movie was it? Little Fucker. No. Oh, yeah. great, great, great I don't film. know what it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, Teddy is a spiritual sequel to Little Fucker. I, that's, that's what I texted you. That could be yeah. the pull quote too, if you want. That could be. Yeah. yeah. I got a oh. quote from Midsummer that's uh, <laughs> trying to be original. Okay. Check out Teddy, by the way. It's on YouTube. It's great. You can watch it yeah. on this here channel. Check it out. Maybe the best of the wangers yet. Yay! I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna stitch those together. Do I say wangers? Do I say amateur hour? Wangars. Wang- <laughs> for Wangar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I was uh, enjoying the latest you. from the Wangars. <laughs> Our next one's a black latest and white film. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want you guys to get so fucking pretentious. Uh, we I should have like really a four funny. by three ratio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, That's well, when you know we would get yeah. pretentious. <laughs> we shot Actually, this no. On I, would, I would yeah. love for us to do that, like be all pretentious filmmaking. And then when you cut to our interviews, we're just like telling dick jokes and <laughs> farting around. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah, we just fucking thought it would be cool. There's no art to it. 
We just like four by three. We manufactured the film ourselves yeah. in celluloid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want the next one to be like mother. Like that. I want it yeah, to be yeah, not yeah. mother yeah. to the next. I want it to be called <laughs> grandmother. Like, where, like, you know, RB3 has those circle glasses. Like he can pull those off. But if yeah. any of any one of us wore those. And no, then we, th- we wore smaller. S- yeah, smaller. Smaller. <laughs> smaller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the half ones yeah, that yeah, just yeah. go right here. And then we wear a scarf. <laughs> Every time it cuts to herself, the scarf gets bigger. <laughs> and it just like wraps around our face. It's like 115 yeah. degrees outside and we're still wearing a scarf. Yeah. My favorite is when a film critic, like their uh, their like Twitter uh, profile pic is like them holding. Their head. <laughs> Anytime you're holding your head, you're a douche. No, that's like heads are not that they heavy. They gotta yeah. think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, that Magneto oh, head. The, the thing. creative power in here it exhausts me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how do I see all these it's films? Such and a what do I come yeah. How do I come up with all these critics? Well, like when they reviews. do this. <laughs> oh, we unless it. you're trying to actively frame a shot. I don't even know if it's useful then. I, I don't get it. I mean, when we were shooting Teddy, we did a joke one where Cody oh, the, and I, because yeah, we co-directed, so we like put ours together because yeah. we just, we, every time you, you can, we, we had this game where we like Google directors uh, and yeah, see which one. You can Google one. any director and somewhere on Google, there's an image of them going mm-hmm. like this with the hands, yeah. just really framing with up the With a forward shot. baseball hat. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yeah. backwards. A curve. Yeah. Oh, backwards. Mostly with a backwards. scarf, though. There's usually a mm. scarf involved. Yeah. yeah, I didn't wear a scarf. I think I wore a beanie that night, though. It yeah. was pretty yeah. cold. When we shot Teddy? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You couldn't wear the hat because you were in it. No, I was in character. I had to uh, just wear it. Would you wear the hat, though? You wear the hat. Yeah. Yeah, you wear the hat. Yeah. Well, what okay. am I, an idiot? Yeah. 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 Jesus Sorry. Christ, who do you think I am? Honey, have you seen my directing hat? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do that have curved bill. I, I need fr- the curved my bill. My friends, for either my birthday or for something, I don't know, they got me a hat that says director on it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's but I didn't wear it. Yeah. Oh, you can wear okay. that. No, they'd make yeah. fun of me if yeah, I yeah. wear that. Oh, we totally would. Yeah. yeah. I think I do it as a certain people that can get away with it. I think RB3 can get away with anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, he can literally kill somebody. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. On oh. Instagram, he can do no wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Every if he kills somebody on Instagram, strikes. then it'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that might be wrong that you yeah. can't do on Instagram. Yeah. If he kills him while yeah. drinking a Pepsi, <laughs> yeah. he's an influence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the, uh, the wait, were you going to say something right now? I don't know. Oh, yeah, my dad, you're talking about a gift that you got. Uh, for Christmas, my dad got me a book that was... Uh, How to be a better no. son. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken soup for the idiot kid. That was for my birthday, um, not for Christmas. For Christmas, I got a book. It said, "It's it's the you know the dummy series, but it just says my son is dummies." Yeah, the, uh, the book said, uh, "I was give yourself one." Give yourself I'm one. Trying to like continue with I'm trying to, it. I'm trying to get there. It was something like a step by step guide to not disappointing me. <laughs> But now I can't stop it. It was it was oh. the portable film school and said you oh. don't need to go to four years of college. <laughs> now this is after I'd already wrapped that's, up my fourth year of college. Oh, that's, that's pretty much a graduation gift. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, the, that's Thanks, the equivalency Bob. of that. Yeah. Oh. yeah, Cody, I know you worked really hard. I just want to let you know you've wasted the last four years. <laughs> you of really your didn't life. have to do I, this. I take at it all. your sense of humor comes from your dad. Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. a funny guy. Okay, yeah. nice. Oh, right. Mom sure isn't. That was a joke gift. Mom. That's uh, that, that, that's a book she got for Christmas. How to be a funnier wife. <laughs> Dad, hilarious. Mom's a flat line. That's not funny at all. Just shut up, mom. Really well, no Gail, your humor. jokes did not land. At Thanksgiving. <laughs> Assuming your mom's name is Gail. Oh well, my, uh, my mother-in-law's name is Gail. Right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sorry, close. Gail. Oh. Greg and hold on, uh, Dorothy. My mom. No, your mom's name is Helen. Helen, no. Helen Hall. It's, uh, no, it's not it's, Hall it's anymore. Diana. Diana. Yeah. Diana. Thank you for reminding me that my yeah. parents divorced. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta... <laughs> oh, it's not Hall anymore. Yeah, you... uh, what is yeah. her maiden name? Uh, her maiden name? Oh, you don't have to say the full name. What's her new husband's What's her new last name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, her, what's her new husband's address? Let's have, let's have a Patreon level where we take fans by the new address. It's <laughs> oh, not where I wanted to go with that. Oh, so what was that like? Let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we had a review for Midsummer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> what we were getting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dis- yeah. Not We've really uh, spiraled here. <laughs> what are you talking about, Brian? This critic's uh, Midsummer review is the Feel Mad movie of the decade. <laughs> oh, man. Feel Mad movie? Because mm-hmm. it feel yeah. bad. My favorite was okay. in uh, the reviews for Stuber just came out. Mm. And if you go on Rotten Tomatoes, there's like a bunch of them that are like Uber puns. Like, this is not a five-star movie. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, like that. it's like, come on. Uh, come on. They should have got a lift. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah. You know, shit like that. Wait, wait. Is is Stuber just stupid Uber? 
No, his name's Stu. Is, is he's it? an Uber oh, driver. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was just. Like, Were you about to say yeah? <laughs> You're like yeah. No, no. I, I, I generally I, I was like sure. Like why, why is it called Stuber? Just because yeah. his name. His name's Stu. Stu. Oh, I mean, funny. I never even put it together that he's an Uber driver in the movie. <laughs> 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 I, just thought, I just thought, well, yeah, Officer Stuber. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see that picture? I did not see that picture. No. Uh, no, I really just like, and I don't think it looked terrible, but I just I I only see the movies that I want to see now. It's oh. good. Yeah. That's it's a good way to live life. Dude, I remember yeah. when you guys were seeing literally everything. Was, I'm like, oh my God. That's what I don't get yeah. when people have like top 10 worst movies of the year. Like, I don't. I don't go see out stuff see I know is going to suck. No. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if I'll be able to do a top 10 one because I, I don't like doing the top. T- I think that the. It's it's fun to to crap on a movie sometimes if you're mad because you paid money to see it, but it's mm-hmm. like once you get to the lofty perch where everything you see is free, like yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, you can't shit. Unless even, there was a yeah. fire alarm that went off. In yeah, this that how was, dare yeah. them? My number one worst movie of the year, the yeah. AMC employee. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon section one dollar. Uh. Um, no, yeah, it's gotten to the point where it's like uh, we don't really need to like it. Like, it's, say if we saw a movie, yeah. then we wanted to talk about it. We're not gonna like full on like say that it was terrible unless it's like. Unless it's like that, that what's that fucking movie we always talk about where the dude uh, La, 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 Laquisha? What's that fucking oh, yes, movie? Yes, Laquisha. Laquisha. Laquisha yeah. That yeah. horrible Amazon fucking Prime right now. Yeah, horribly obvious like racist movie that's out there. No, I really? like, saw it? that. No. It's Ooh. crazy. I haven't seen it, but the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a white guy. He's a, <laughs> he's a podcast personality. Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, there's no jobs for white guys anymore. Yeah. And it's yeah. like he finds an ad that says hiring women and minorities, so he yeah. pretends to be a black woman. On the radio. Oh, I'm sure that's going over. Just it didn't go over well. Twitter, Twitter. Oh, jeez, what I'm saying. Twitter was pretty upset about it for like mm. two days. I wonder, days. like, because this movie came out at like the dawn of social media, but I saw it was on like Showtime or something the other day. It was uh, the Ringer with Johnny Knoxville? Yeah, yeah. that one yeah. been made today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I where it's that. like that South Park episode where Carmen pretends to be <laughs> to win the special, special needs. Yeah. yeah, there's but like still ends up losing. Yeah. yeah, there's kind of a nice little like. Message behind that, but still, in the yeah, no, but yeah, it's got I, I a remember bit of heart it, it, to it, it, had, it had a message in a heart, but I think just people because like nobody actually investigates anything anymore, they mm. just like they see a headline yeah. and then they're like, Well, that's our show today, yeah. and uh, so I think they probably would have just taken that premise and been like, No, this is the worst thing ever, yeah. Do you, well, I haven't seen it like fully, the do Rainer? they make, yeah, do they make fun of? I like, haven't seen, I haven't seen one frame of it, that's <laughs> oh, you why haven't I haven't seen it at all, yeah. Oh. I just know that it would not be received well, yeah, because no. of what the initial. Headline. Like him I, pretending to be mentally challenged. Yeah, yeah. I know one of the one of like his co-stars is was is is mm-hmm. mentally challenged as yeah. well, and like they had like their whole press tour and everything. I remember him defending it, like it, yeah. th- that it does yeah. have a good message. But now. like their core group, I think mm-hmm. are hum- just people that aren't, and yeah. so oh, yeah, that and kind of that adds. One guy from the uh, the Super Troopers movie, he's pretending to be mentally challenged. The Snozberries guy. Yeah. Is it really? I don't remember. He's, he's it's one been a minute. Yeah, you yeah. guys want to hear something terrible? What's that? Still never seen Super Troopers. <sighs> Oh, I All thought right. you guys were I'm more of a Club Dread guy. I that's, love that's Club my, Dread. I seen, okay, Lizard I haven't seen any of the Broken Lizard. You don't like any of the Beer Fest? Beer Fest, nothing? Oh. Okay. Beer Fest is great. Is I, I do love Club Dread a lot, too. Sam Levine's in that movie. Is he real? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Big fan of All right. Club Dread. It's a good movie. You're just yeah. n- not on board with that? Or you've no, never seen it? I've just never seen it. So you can't even like judge their humor? if Can't judge their humor at all. It's mm. wonderful. Also, it came out uh, when I uh, uh, guessed it on Movie Talk today that uh, I've never seen any of the Saw movies, mm. and I was told that I would really like the first one. First one's great. It's it one is of my favorites. One. It's pretty great. Yeah. It's second kind of dated, but I think you'd like it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing Chris Rock. Chris, and that's that's going to be Jack. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, anything beyond the first one, just kind of. Eh, okay. It's just whatever. Yeah. I like I like two. I like yeah. two a lot. Um, three is like. the Annie with the traps and yeah. like everything, and it like. Yeah. Explores the lore. I think the first three are pretty solid. Okay, I think it's a solid. I think because that's when Lee Winnell was some part of it. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, I think they. I don't know if Juan did too, but I think he did. No, Winnell at least wrote the first three. Yeah, yeah. maybe four. So it's yeah. kind of the that yeah. whole story. I just don't want to think too much about the traps. Oh, yeah. like, like I don't want to think too much about like oh no he stepped on that so now that is gonna set that mm. like remember that game no, Mouse Trap oh yeah. oh yeah you know you had to like build all the mm-hmm. and like after a while I just feel like look Lisa trap. my older sister you you build this and then I'll come back and watch and see how you did mm. but I'm not investing the time well I don't so the old man can jump in the thing and then the whole and then the thing. other thing happens and it's and, over yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's yeah, that, other ways to catch mice it became just the, a trope upon itself. Just all the traps. Yeah. And then. Mouse trapped it? No, no, no. Nah, it's solid. Trapped. Excuse me. <laughs> and then. Where's that movie at, by the way? Oh, that's a matter of time. Yeah. It'll happen. That uh, is a, it's already a movie. 
Mouse, Wait, mouse what, trap? Ratatouille? Mouse trap? Nathan Lane is in That's Mouse a- Trap. Wait a minute. No, Wait. no, he's in Mouse Hunt. Mouse oh. Hunt, yes. Oh. With, with Crispin yes. Glover? Yeah, that is Mouse. I remember or that. No, that's Willard. Oh, okay. That's a very different Oh, yeah. Movie. <laughs> when he's like, he's assembling yeah. the army of rats. Yeah. Is, oh, my God. What a oh, weird movie yeah. that was. And it's the perfect movie. And it's even better when you watch it pretending it's George McFly. Oh, who has gone it's insane. It's a spin-off yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like if you go back to the future to save your parents or whatever, it's like, yeah, you could end up with the cool dad who writes science fiction novels. Yeah. But you could also come back and your dad is Willard. Right. God, I saw the movie like it's 10 like, times. Welcome, son. Where have you been? The rats are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> your whole family's been waiting for you. Yeah. Let's introduce um, yourself to all 300. But of the of the fifty minutes you saw for Midsummer, did you like it? I was so locked in. Oh, okay, oh, cool. So locked. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I think that's a because I saw it too. The film reached up through my anus, <laughs> and grabbed my heart in a way I haven't experienced in ever. It's pretty much Relax. how it is. Right. Yeah. Yes. No, but I, I was I was so locked in. Yeah. It takes a for while for for things to get going. Yeah. It's mm. a lot slower than Hereditary. It's fucking long too. Is it? Very, very long. Yeah, after oh, she, she half, dropped right? the correct pronunciation of mm. Midsommar, yeah. then she dropped the running time, and we're all like, Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, so the earthquake happens, and then I decide I'm going home because I want to make sure uh, Molly, uh, the wonder dog, is okay, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so she she was fine. But <laughs> uh, and but Steve Byrne waited because he had, like, a late spot that night mm, Byrne. And, in Hollywood. Yeah, and so <laughs> he was like, well, I'm going to go. I'm just going to wait this out because then eventually they invited everybody back in to, like, hey, yeah. sorry about the earthquake. Not our fault. Here's the rest of the movie. And he was furious mm. leaving it. Oh, hated the last Ooh. hour and a half of yeah. it because oh. we were both locked in at the fifty minute point. Yeah, and then he said it went off the rails. So I, because I was so appreciative of the first mm-hmm. fifty minutes, I want to go see the rest of it. How will I feel? Uh, and I mean, you, you I mean, well, I don't want to compare it to Hereditary because they're two completely different movies. Right. Um, but Hereditary had that thing where it's like it felt like it was one movie and then it, it ended a, a different movie. And I was happy with both of them. There's yeah. a little bit of that. It's less yeah. horror. It's it's not scary. It's disturbing. Which one? Uh, uh, Midsummer. I heard it's more stressful. Than it, it is like very scary. stressful. It's, it's yeah. Stressful. There's okay. like a there is a turning point. It's actually, I I, I don't know. I like Midsummer. I liked it a lot. I liked it. A little bit better in Hereditary in some aspects, but then not as much as Hereditary in other aspects mm-hmm. because I think the character stuff isn't as great and the story isn't as great. But like, there's like specific moments in Midsummer that yeah. are like really like oh fuck that's gonna stick with me. And also, I can like pick up you can pick apart each scene that is like happening mm-hmm. in in that in Midsummer, and you're like oh fuck. So it's like if you pay attention to certain things that are in the background, it kind of pays off for a later time. And then there's other times where it's like oh that's kind of obvious. Yeah, you know. But I just I think, like the way he. I, I like the way that dude makes a movie. Oh, dude, yeah, it's he's great. It's fucking well edited. Yeah. like it's oh, he does one of you know in like Hereditary where it's like it's on a shot, then it cuts to a different shot, but it's like the, the yeah. thing is in the center. Yeah, does that like once again? It's like his little trope. Hmm. It's fucking cool. It's like a, like, like a Robert Eggers man. Where, where is that guy made another movie? Uh, it's coming out this year. Yeah, the Lighthouse. the Lighthouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, mm-hmm. the Robert Pattinson. Bobby Robert Pat- Pattinson. Yeah. And Ooh, yeah. Willem Dafoe. Willem. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. Willem. That is a Willem scream. Uh, nice. Wait, what, I, what was the first movie he made? The, the Witch. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, Witch. it's pretty good. It's, it's so really, good. Talk about really? a movie in 4-3. Oh, it is 4-3? Yeah. No, no, it is. no, no, actually. No, it's, no. It's, not, it's like... <laughs> Uh, no, it? I've never it seen it Christian that excited. But it's like, it's like, it's, it's like, like it's in four three. I don't know. Oh! Exactly. <laughs> no. You should have seen me. Oh! No, no. You should have seen my reaction to the, to the Arby's conversation we had last week. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like curly fries. Big box. <laughs> Two plus two is five. No, it's not. Oh God! Another. Oh Jesus. Um, maybe yeah. Okay, maybe it's not, but it's a different. It's a different aspect. Yeah, I don't saying, know exactly. Judging what it by is. your reaction, is yeah. not for three. No. I was thinking of a ghost story. It might be yeah, cropped. We can look story. into this. It is cropped. Hold on. I'm gonna look at it because it's oh, like you got they it. use right, specific cool. lenses anyway. because of like the trees and stuff. And yeah, yeah. You get the whole. Okay. You talk about a movie that teaches you how to parent. I mean, parenting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> was a lot easier in the 1600s than what Cody's going to be going through. Yeah. yeah. Because there's so much modern stuff. Like back then, it was just, like y- your kids, you were just like, hey, do not talk to that one goat. <laughs> and that's like all you got to worry about. Yeah. It's like, look, yeah. the goat's Stay acting away weird. From this demon. Mm-hmm. We think it's possessed. Mm-hmm. Don't talk to the goat. Yeah. That's right. all you got to do. Fuck that movie. Yeah. Awesome. Go in the woods, to... do whatever you want, <laughs> turn butter, he was, don't talk to the goat. He was supposed to do Nosferatu, I think, too, at one point. But I don't know if he did anything. I think it was, there was some rumblings about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know who yeah. played Nosferatu in a 1990 whatever? <laughs> William Defoe. <laughs> <laughs> did he? <laughs> yeah. 
William? What was he? No, Will- Willem Dafoe played the the dude who played Nosferatu. Because oh, that guy like got really into the character, like turned into like a real vampire, yeah. like whatever. <laughs> That's a great guy for life. Dead on impression. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he did. For, like, it was silent movie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, you got so into character, and it's like, hey, uh, Bill, um, we can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. He's like doing the voice and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's like, hello. No. <laughs> yeah, just walk I'm up no there. Oh, you, you don't have to talk like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all for the process. The aspect ratio is one six six, but I'm trying to figure out what that. Okay, is. yeah. Mm. So it's like it's because mm. two, two, three, nine. Someone's gonna comment, and we're gonna feel like. Idiots, whatever. Like, no, because yeah. one three three is four by three, so one six six might be one seven eight full frame. If no. you're five five five, then no, I'm six six six. I'll look. I don't know. I think Cody has a book that would explain <laughs> 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 to the lay people out there. It didn't take four years to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought so about doing the New York Film Academy when I was. Uh, oh yeah, I got those pamphlets. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got two. I got two like pamphlets like that in high school. One, one I got recruited to go to. Uh, Nashville Auto Diesel School, Ooh. which is true, which is hilarious because Nashville Auto Diesel School's Nads, Nads yeah, <laughs> got, got Took me a second. recruited to play basketball oh, at Nads. We go Nads, yeah. Oh, you're a Nad, huh? Yeah, yeah. I play ball at Nads. <laughs> and then the other one was uh, was I was looking at New York Film Academy, and I, it just I don't know. I, I think even back then I was like, you know, something about making movies seems really yeah. hard and intense and like mm. headache inducing. It and, is. Uh, Very much you know so. who's okay. uh, you know who's all over the pamphlets or who was when I was getting them. Oh, uh, can we guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. For for what? what New York Film Academy. York who was all? So over there was because like Allen. they had a few. They had a few directors who came from there that were really big. But they had one guy. Okay, it's either um, like Brian Singer or all over it. Brett Ratner, oh, alive or dead, alive. What's your yeah. guess, Brian? I said Woody Allen, but that seems too old school. Okay. Do you want to back Ooh. out? Mm. Let me think of I'm trying to think of which Me Too director I want to. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's a Me Too director. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you got yeah. Ratner. Are you, you going Ratner? Sing- is singer, is, uh, no, singer, singer went to USC. Yeah, but then... Uh, I like the Ratner call a lot. I'll say Ratner. I'll stick with Ratner. Yeah, he went to NYU. Wait, so you're, you're going with Ratner as well? Sure. Okay, it's Brett Ratner. Yeah! You guys it. All three of you got it. Yeah, there's so many of him just sitting there, like, in his director chair, looking back at the camera, just all fucking smug and smiling. Oh, and yeah. Douche. Yeah. yeah. There was no, a story where, like, hour. in the edit bay, like, he was just texting the whole time. The guys are, like, trying to get shit done. I forgot yeah. what movie it was. Just taking pictures in the pamphlet. <laughs> I, I can't see the shrimp cocktail in front of three ladies last night. <laughs> I can't imagine him on the pamphlet anymore. No. I would love to see that updated. It's like yeah, nobody in Max there. Landis yeah. in there oh, instead. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, there's probably. Oh, jeez, that guy. Woo! I just, I'll never forget when we had that, that just fucking. Oh, what oh he was on Schmoes. Yeah. He was. And uh, wore like a bright purple. It was shirt. literally just like watching somebody. Uh, it was like if, if you could physically manifest an ego uh-huh. and then jerking that ego off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, I was just, I, I can't remember who was. Who was even on the show? But it was just like watching him, and like he he came up with some idea that night, and like ten minutes later, he's like, and now we just wrote our own movie, and I'm like, I am gonna jump out the window, yeah. but we're yeah. after buzz, and they don't have windows. And, they had great uh, yeah. popcorn though. They had, they had great some good popcorn. popcorn. Really yeah. good popcorn. They had brisk. <sighs> yeah, they had. Yeah, you guys still with the brisk? No, you were never on board with the brisk. No, oh. brisk because it's is, sugar. Uh. It's it just tastes like. It it tastes like acid. You know what? <laughs> it tastes like it was. Literally you know who's a good friend? You. Josh yeah. McCuga texted me on Fourth yeah. of July. I hope you're having a brisk on this wonderful Fourth of July. A brisk, because he knows. He, knew, he knows. He knew about the brisk. Yeah. Oh, Him okay. and Ken know. He was a part of okay. the brisk club. So you're yeah. saying Josh is a better friend than I am because he texts you about iced tea. Yeah, I invited you to a barbecue. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> did. And I apologize for not going to if, say. If, if he had said yes, I would have invited y'all. I figured I he, oh, it's all right. he, he was my gateway <laughs> okay. to the wangers. Here's the that. dilemma, because I told him right. about it, and they were like, oh, we weren't invited. Mm-hmm. I don't think I said that, anything. No, that did not. <laughs> Brian, that, I'm not that. saying it like that, but yeah. like they, they would have felt wow. weird if like we all went and they didn't get the invite. You could. T- I, I was I, totally I, fine going. I just didn't reply. Am I that unapproachable? You have my number. You can't text. I also me. thought like, okay, he said no so quick. Oh, I just, he said no. Yeah, I know, but oh. I figured, I, I figured, I, I, I figured like, I didn't actually oh, say he was no. let me know. Oh, or you guys said, would know. Oh. Like you get yeah. the three bubbles as you're typing the invite, and, he and just then has I, no I ready to go yeah. as soon as you fucking do it. <laughs> uh. hmm. I think I was afraid to ask where it was because then I'd be digging myself deeper. Yeah, so it you, wasn't a big deal. I mean, okay. It was okay. So I also no plans to go. I, I thought about it. And then you just said Just no. like I thought about going to your place, too. Brian, what was your, what was your invite for 4th uh, of July? Where were, where I, were I you didn't doing? have one. You didn't have an invite? 
You invited us. Oh, yeah, remember? yeah I invited you guys. I was to... setting you up for the. the oh, thing. oh, so they got invited shameless. somewhere that I did not get invited yeah. to. <laughs> huh? See, now it comes. Yeah. To, okay. Huh? Mm. Thanks for because the... I knew you were busy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ah, yeah, that guy's. But happy. I also mm. figured <laughs> that I was like guy's... Ellis. <laughs> you make it seem like I was at Brett Ratner's house. <laughs> <laughs> but I also figured if we went. And then we'd go, and then we're like, okay, we're going to hang out with Ellis, and then yeah. he's going to magically disappear. I will do that. Yeah. You do the, I was yeah, worried I about that. I will do I've that. I've studied your methods. I and then we would that. all yeah. be stuck. And honestly, most of the time, if somebody doesn't invite me anywhere, I'll text them, and I'm like, yeah, let me see if I can go, because I can't think of an excuse on the fly. Mm. And then like an hour <laughs> later, like I'll, co- I'll cook up some grand mm. excuse as to why I can't go when I'm really yeah, just yeah. sitting at home. Yeah. 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 I just well, don't want to go. The, the thing you invited us to, the only Brian. thing that I was hesitant on, Brian, yeah. thank you, Cody. Mm. Mark, hi. Uh, the only thing I was hesitant on was because I didn't know I didn't know all the situation. I didn't oh. know like who all would be there. Oh, I just invited you guys. Well, I knew no, I know that, but was I didn't know. Is that your place? Is that my girlfriend's place? But I didn't okay. know if like she had friends that were all going to be there, and like if there was going to be like a like because you said like a like I just, a I just said like roof got, party or something because she has a pool on the rooftop. Yeah, at, Look, at what home. he's saying is that you and you alone. Is not company worthy. That's what he said. No, he, no, he didn't, do, he didn't do the thing like who's going to be there. Yeah. Like that, that. Well, I didn't, what I, other again, I didn't, yeah, are going to yeah. be there? Yeah, again, I didn't want to dig a hole deeper. Because yeah. I didn't, I just, like, sometimes I just don't want to socialize that much with, like, people I don't know. Uh, so if I would have known it. I never want to do that. Yeah. yeah. If I've I would have known it was. people I'm going to meet in my life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm You're officially done, the cap? done meeting people. Yeah. I'll shake hands. Mm-hmm. I'll take pictures. Yeah. I'm not meeting anybody. Oh, I'm not remembering any, right yeah, there. No yeah. more names. Yeah. Yeah, no. Your your kid <laughs> on its own. On <laughs> its own. Do not bring the kid around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, because then and then when you showed us the photo, like other people were crashing in that you guys sent in our little group text. I, I like, sent oh. a photo of an empty chair. Said this is where my friends would be <laughs> if I had any. I did want to go to that. I did. I really did, that, man. Yeah, because if it was yeah. just oh. us, then I was like, okay, cool. But I didn't. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know you because it was. It was. I invited you guys like the day of. I yeah. Think. Yeah. So yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think him. I was the we, day of. You, Wanger show franked him. Yeah. Mine was a timing thing. I had something to do later in the night and want to be like rushing back from 40 minutes away. He also doesn't like, like with fireworks. With my pregnant wife. Yeah, yeah I yeah. understand. Yeah, but Cody. you also live in like Phoenix. Like yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, live not, like four hours drive. away. It's like, I think that's probably why I didn't invite Cody because I, I assume Cody... <laughs> Had like something to do. Yeah, you know he's got he's got the, the the kid on the way. He's got he's got a dad who's trying to you know he's trying to impress. <laughs> and there's just a lot of stuff going on in Cody's life. And I figured that you were the gateway into Brian. Now, if I could tell everybody out there, the best party I've been to probably in 2019 mm. um, was at the Houston uh, Courtyard Marriott. Oh yeah, the night after the or the night of the Schmodown. Oh yeah, when we all went back to your hotel to regroup. Yeah, yeah, and have a beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we were going to go to that bar. Then we found out how far the bar that everybody we're else like, went to. And nope. we're like 30 minutes away. Nope. Like, yeah. So we <laughs> just got a crap ton of beer. Yeah. And, and we had ladies come to us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo! It was it was good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we hung out in Ken's room until he got tired and wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and and we to yeah. Room yeah. And then, yeah. Wait, just, does he specifically say it, or does he like try to like hint? He gave us a, he a time. He's like yeah. around like you know twelve thirty or one, whenever it was. He's like, I might be passing out. He might have okay. been flying out early. So we're all no, checking the fucking actually. clock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He knows his body clock pretty well. Yeah. yeah. He, he announced it like as soon as we got in there and Ken saw the situation. He's like, Yeah, well, here's what the parameters are, and then it's like we're all having a good time, and then you figure Ken's just gonna be along yeah. for the ride. He's like, yeah, we're having a good time. We can have a couple more beers. It was like, I think if he said 1230, it was 1225. And he's like, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost done with my beer. I guess it's time to go to bed. He doesn't even look at the watch. Uh, it's just like an internal clock. Right. Just right, like right. Him. Yeah. 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 I remember we watched like all of an SNL episode. Yeah, that we night. did watch the entire season finale. The season finale. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Adam's not Adam Sandler. No. Paul Rudd. All right. Oh, All right. The yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of watch, I, I watched a few things this weekend. Uh, nice. More, most okay. important, more importantly, the one thing that I did watch that I wanted to bring up on the show. Was it in 4 3? <laughs> no. 1 6 yes! 6. I would have. I would have. Yes. <laughs> Wait one, six, a minute. Six. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cody. Yep. I finally watched it. Okay, there's one of two things right. that this could be. Mm-hmm. Uh, s- say what they are. Wait, movie or TV show? Movie. Okay, okay say what that's they are. One of I'll... one things this could be. <laughs> wow. I was gonna say Fargo, but there's yeah, no way you no finished was the Fargo. entire show. Before thrill. you guess it, I was literally, I literally like I had my phone and I took a photo of me crying and I was gonna send it to you guys. Did and you? <laughs> did you do it? I did did you watch Briggs Bear? I watched Briggs. Yes! Oh, oh, oh it's boy! It's fucking amazing. Didn't it inspire you? Oh my didn't god! Didn't it just make you love not only movies but make you love life? God, 
every single second. Really? Woo! Didn't see it? Have you? No. I saw oh, it. oh, it's it, a fantastic It, it is film. so beautiful. Honestly, it oh. looked like... Now, look, there's a lot of times I've sat down in a movie and been like, this is not my alley, and, and it becomes one of your favorites of the year. Yeah. But, and and brings me bare. I, I don't want to see anything Mark Hamill's involved with, but I'm I sat brilliant. down and... I it, it, I was gonna go watch. It. I'm like this. It just looks a little too out there for me. And Dude, it looks like it's a lot of work. It's not no. that much out there. No, it's not. no, it's not. No. Yeah. It's like, actually a very okay. grounded. Story. I think yeah, when yeah. it starts, you were like, okay, what the fuck is this shit? And then there's like a plot thing. You that didn't ha- know like what it's about. No, I, I, right? I, wasn't that such a cool reveal? I did not see any oh. trailers. I saw nothing. Oh, I just knew that oh. Kyle Mooney and um, uh, Mark Hamill mm-hmm. was in it. And then like. Characters started popping up. I'm like, oh, hey, that kid's from uh, yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. Yeah. Like, all these little things. And it was just a, 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 a nice treat of a movie. It, oh, it's so seriously, good. it's super inspiring. Really? It's Such a feel-good movie. Very, very yeah, But you're like a creative person. So is it going to inspire me? <laughs> no. You're a creative. You're a writer. Uh, you're a you're a performer. Uh, personality. No, I'm done. They show <laughs> this in yeah. classes at Nads. Okay, man. They yes, get this they should inspire the yeah. children. Uh, I, yeah, I, I was full on fucking bawling at the end and just really? like yeah, oh. it just not like it wasn't. Sa- it was just so happy. Yeah, you know, it, I felt the same way with like Captain Fantastic, where like yeah. you know, like c- people coming together for something mm-hmm. and it's so joy. joyful. Yeah, even even like uh, Swiss Army Man, I was like crying at the end. You know, yeah. Swiss like, Army Man was yeah yeah. Love it's that not. That's like, a movie that it's not I feel like I would need to work to see. It's not loopy like that. Like I, Swiss yeah. Army Man's loopy and, and all the right out there. I thought all it was the right way. Work. I thought Swiss Army Man was going to be, and it was work. But it's just like occasionally I will get into a mood mm-hmm. to appreciate and 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 do the work. And I was with a uh, friend of the show, Josh the Engineer, mm-hmm. and we went uh, to go see that at the Lamley Seven in NoHo, which is a great theater. Mm-hmm. They know where the fire alarms are, <laughs> and uh, we <laughs> had a great you time. Say it, Lamley. Lamley. Oh, I, I've okay. said Lamel. I say like Lemley. That's what I, that's what I say. Lemley. I'll tell you right spelled now. Spelled yeah. correctly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seen it on Google a couple times. Oh, <laughs> Lamel. I'm, go- I'm going. It, it's got to be Lamley. Uh, okay. Mm. That's well, what's you, made in me. You've been here longer. So Lamel. Like Lamel's the only. No, I'm thinking. I thought it was Lemley. I say Lemley. You but said Lemley. That doesn't sound right either. Yeah. Oh, there's. It's Midsommar. Yeah. It's Midsommar. It's Lemley. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Briggs be a bear would be a movie that would they probably would have shown there. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, 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 they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I remember it. So, uh, yeah, I finally watched nice. it. Nice. I so finally happy. watched it. So fi- uh, would that have been? It was either that or 10? Rush Hour 2 again. Mm. You don't need to watch that one again. Directed no. by yeah. New York also, Film Academy Zone. <laughs> I did rewatch Rush Hour 2 ah, this week. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I do agree. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But and Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan are working. They're wonderful, but it didn't make it any better that the Miramax like logo started popping up in front. I was like, oh, God. Executive producer, Harvey Weinstein. This is a double whammy. Lee! <laughs> just think, who else could have been associated with this movie, like to make it much worse in that way? Like Jeremy Piven. Oh, Jeremy in Piven's in it too. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Weinstein yeah. is a producer, apparently. Brett Ratner. Mm. Who else is? Uh, I'm so sure there's Woody Allen. Ghost wrote it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Script yes. supervisor Brian Singer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he would have been. I think yeah. uh, Cosby did punch up. <laughs> yeah. On the yeah. Yeah. That Kevin Spacey cameo. Uh, that was. Uh, yeah. 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 So I saw him in us. Uh, oh yeah. I. Oh yeah. No, you're a great Me Too movie. Is his uh, Outbreak. Oh, okay. okay. You got you got Morgan Dustin Freeman. Hoffman, Dustin Hoffman, Morgan Freeman, oh. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Uh, I, the, the monkey was accused of some stuff. I'm sure <laughs> he was. <laughs> monkey. Yeah, he was. He got a little Jonathan handsy on the set of Friends. Yeah. Cuba Gooding I mean. Jr. He's safe. Renee Russo. She's safe. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba's is. Not. I, I think no. He got he got arrested think. recently for like. Oh, but I'm what? saying like Me Too stuff. I don't think he's that? Me Too, but he's okay. he's he's, 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 okay. he's okay. weird. Yeah. He's okay. weird. You don't see you didn't see the picture of him with like the handcuffs and he's no. like walking out of the thing. Oh. I think that's that's the OJ show. Oh, is that, that the you were second watching. OJ thing? Yeah, you were. He's that mixing up my rumor character. His fictions and my murder his wife. You know, his friend Al was driving. <laughs> I loved him in the Naked Gun movies. <laughs> that is that that was like that's the reason why I went when the OJ thing happened. You guys weren't born yet. When the OJ thing happened, mm. I was a staunch supporter of OJ Simpson mm. because I love the Naked Gun movies so much, and I'm a He's, huge NFL fan. Funny. I'm like, there's no way 
you can rush for that many yards <laughs> and, and be in movies that are that, that funny yeah. and kill two people. Mm-hmm. You just can't do you it. You got to be focused mm-hmm. to do those things. Mm-hmm. So I, and people. then the verdict came down. I was like, I don't believe it. I was like, oh, I was a staunch OJ supporter oh, for like a good wow. six months afterwards. And then one day I woke up and I'm like, hey, he probably did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if I can't I stop watching it. that documentary. The, the 30 for 30. Oh, oh, I, never seen it. I never finished it, man. It, it was is long. It was a lot. It, it's long. I haven't seen it start to finish, but every time it's on, I just watch whatever that episode is. It's no, like, I can I'm just so locked into it. Around yeah, like hour, th- yeah, hour yeah. three, I was like, I can't. Do- There's three more of There's these a lot, fucking yeah. things. I'm like, oh. but it is interesting because I, I that was before my time. I didn't know he was like a college star. Oh and yeah. Then he, or then he, oh, I knew he was on U- at USC, but then he mm-hmm. went to the Bills. Yes, went he to the Buffalo Bills. The Bills. Yeah, and, and he they had to get a special helmet made for him Why? because his head was so big. Like metaphorically, not yeah, metaphorically, <laughs> uh, not metaphorically. <laughs> big just, just yeah, too big. and so but if I your head's that big, you imagine that it's really hard for Bloomingdale's to carry gloves that are in your. Exact <laughs> <time>. Oh, <laughs> and now he's on Twitter. But I do think that the LAPD planted evidence. I think the LAPD faked it, faked yeah. some evidence, but I also think OJ did it. So like, I think you're, both things can be. The, yeah. Yeah. They fuck themselves because you're you're the moon landing guy too. I, I'm, I'm not the moon landing guy. Okay. <laughs> you're I know the moon defender. landing people, yeah. but no, I I think we landed on the moon. Okay. Just not on the sixty nine. I'm pretty sure we land on the moon as as it ha- uh, no as what we know, mm. uh, like the moon landing that we all know and love. <laughs> you know the, <laughs> the one Kubrick, that they scripted Kubrick, to get yeah. over RFK's death. That one, yeah. or, or no, no, the one they scripted to get yeah. over that and Chappaquiddick, because mm. <laughs> Chappaquiddick happened like the day of the moon landing or something like that. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Now, look, like, we were already in the process of going to space. Sure. Yeah. And then, uh, then I was uh, on the dock with uh, What's-A-Face, and I don't know what happened. Well, what was you JFK know, assassinated? Like, 63, 63. right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. November uh, of 63. It's a title. Uh, and then the Beatles just happened to hit America. 11-22 uh, <laughs> next year. 11-22. The Beatles killed JFK. Stephen King book. You got there, buddy. It's Sorry. okay. You don't, no, I read it. so hard on yourself. It's, it's a okay. good show. Yeah. Oh, it's a great show. Oh, James Franco. Ugh. I didn't like the way. Why yeah. did we come back here? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. One yeah. movie or TV oh, show. Oh, Usual <laughs> Suspects is a good one, too. God damn it. Usual Suspects is the mm-hmm. all-time. What do you got here, Brian? Cuba Gooding Jr. In smi- smiles in handcuffs after he turns himself in for alleged hey! groping. Hey! Groping. Oh. groping. As a human right. being, not as OJ. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay good. This, oh, well, I see. cleared that okay. up. Well, that's right. That he played OJ. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a good show. That was I didn't finish it. Yeah, I watched like half of it, and I was like, and I was like, Sarah Paulson's good. Yeah. Oh, she's great. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Sarah Paulson's really good, and Sterling K. Brown's really good, and... Uh the Johnny uh, Cochran guy. John Travolta is uh, <laughs> is really having he, fun. He's in it. <laughs> and yeah. Ross. He's, uh, oh, he's great, Schwimmer. though. Schwimmer's David good. Schwimmer's really, Schwimmer's really good. good. He's yeah. good in it. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's kind of just like like the sad guy. <laughs> he's like, oh, shucks. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're going to do that again. <laughs> My best friend <laughs> killed yeah. somebody. Uh, oh, 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 they call him Uncle oh. OJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Kardashian girls. Let's not get mad at Uncle Arenfall. Uh, There's a lot on the news. They are in that show too, huh? Yeah. They like cameo. Oh, no, it's one of the worst scenes. They all just start chanting their last name, and it's I was like, like, "This yeah, is it's no like, reason." Yeah. For it. Uh, yeah. The w- yeah. I think of I think Chris Rock is the best comic to ever live, and perhaps oh. his greatest joke uh, is from his first special. I still think it's the best special of all time. Uh, rock Bring solid. Pain, where he says, <laughs> "Like a rock." <laughs> he says. <laughs> Brian? Anymore, anymore, I don't know. None ah! of us? No, no one? Not ah. even that one? Between hard a rock, rock and a hard place. There we go. Oh. There we go. There we go. That would have yeah. been good. Yeah. 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 Detroit Rock City? I don't know. Yeah, Is he okay. from Detroit? What do you got, Mark? Let's talk about the joke. <laughs> anyway. Let's get to Rock and Roll <laughs> is his favorite movie. <laughs> I want to rock and roll on that. <laughs> he did guest star in 30 Rock. <laughs> rock. <laughs> I can't even think of a good rock one. This is his favorite actor, so The Rock? Didn't actually his favorite wrestler the was The Rock? He smoked the rock. I don't know. That's good. Yeah. It's all good. That's a crack yeah. thing, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't do drugs. What were you saying? Uh, I think I'm out. You guys, you guys. I think I'm done. Anything else? Rock Cody? and roll. You seem like you got a couple nuggets. Cody's thinking. Co- no, no. It, what Cody's I'm, doing I'm is. I'm stuck on Co- one. Cody, that Cody is formulating. ready to pounce. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm stuck at one that doesn't count. I'm like, remember when we invaded Iraq? <laughs> That would have been good. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, the the Iraq I stretched, really stretched yeah. the pronunciation there. That one's yeah. like a me joke. Yeah. 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 A me I, as yeah. in a Christian joke? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a me too joke. Yeah. We do that uh, all the time. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So here's the joke from Chris Rock. First special. Rock of Ages. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now that you say it, I'm thinking about it. We're still thinking of Chris puns now. Anyway, he says that uh, that OJ Simpson. Uh, he, the only reason he got off is because he is famous 
Um, mm. If he wasn't famous, he wouldn't be OJ, uh, the free man. He'd be a Renthal, the bus drive and murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. It's true. It's true. And it kills. Oh. Ah, nice. Oh. 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 And we're back. We're oh. back. Look there it back. is. Full circle. Was my special shot in 4-3? <laughs> it's gonna we be can. edited. In we, more yeah, we can. Is it? Okay. Yeah, you can. I can't. don't think it was. Wait, <laughs> it might have been. Four K, four three. Who's ever do that? If a comedian would do that, it would have to be a joke. The in four, four three. three, it would be yeah. uh, his Cody's guy, Cody's the white guy. No, no, the oh, white. Wait a minute, what's going Bo on? Bo Burnham, the white guy. It would be Bo Burnham yeah, yeah. special. Oh, wait, he would do it in four three. No. What exactly? What is four three? What is the aspect ratio? It's the, can like, you frame the, it up for me? <laughs> it's the classic it's like the the old silent the film stuff where it's yeah. like, a, okay. like a square okay. more a, than anything. It's the yeah. classic tube television, mm-hmm. which is a square, right? Right. right instead okay. of wide, they screen. didn't have wide screen. Okay, or full yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. It's what uh, can't. It's a creative choice at this point. Mm-hmm. There's no point of doing it. Yeah, it's unless different. you like shoot and film. The only time I ever saw that where it worked was the show Homecoming with Julia Roberts mm. came out last year. Because there actually is a reveal later in the season of why they shot certain scenes that way. And I was Spoiler. like, nice. That's really? cool. Yeah. I get that. Okay. That's awesome. But it's, it's not even for It's like even skinnier, isn't it? Isn't it almost like vertical? Um, I don't know that? about that. Okay. but yeah. Like phone? Yeah. Literally. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's it is skinnier, skinnier than yeah, 4 yeah. Three. Wait! Wait a minute. <laughs> you're wrong. It's not quite that. <laughs> Yeah. There's there's nothing worse than rocks your sock rock your socks off <laughs> filming on your phone like you film something you're like oh that was really funny that was really cool or we got we captured a great moment and then you try to put it on somewhere and you're like ah damn it I was holding the phone straight <laughs> nobody's ever gonna watch this. no one e- but no I th- one I think ever people f- do because people are too lazy to turn it it's it, it's oh, so man. much easier to do it, this. it is yeah. and then it's now so it works on Instagram fine yeah yeah but like I see like when all the Avengers are doing their little videos mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. people. Like put that up. All the, <laughs> the Avengers. Well, the Avengers. They're all the fucking. Avengers. All you, the Avengers. All the Avengers. The Spoiled actors. You just <laughs> on stage taking selfies. All those superheroes people that don't really care about the movies that they say yeah. they do. Like they just do. They do it like this, and then when people rip it, they hate that look. So then they have to whiten it in the and background, blur it. And blur it out, and yeah. it's just like, oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a it. fucking mess. Yeah. yeah, but whatever. What can you do? Mm-hmm. That Hardwick guy took a lot of selfies. In Hall H. Ooh. Yeah. Has he been in a movie? No, he's he's got a show back, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah I don't think he's doing any panels at Comic Con though. I don't think, I think so. Kind of Last year he didn't. Yeah. I think we would have heard something. If yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem like much case. is going on at Comic Con this year. Not really. Um, no, I mean Marvel's really the the biggest game in town. I mean it, they always are, but it's like that's kind of the only thing. Saturday, they're still there. They're at still Hall going. H. Yeah, because okay. DC's not. DC's not. Legendary's not. Uh, Sony's not. No fucking Godzilla. Yeah, that's what really is uh, is upsetting me. Is no Godzilla. Kong they're gonna TV. push it. You finally saw. You saw. You never. Did you see it? Finally, King. Of the I Monsters? don't know. You don't remember? I don't know. But you I did see know. it. That yes. Didn't like yeah, it. I remember he you did it. I remember you eventually did see it. Yes, that's right. I don't think he did. Yes, he know. did. I don't know if I did. Yeah. He did. I did. <laughs> yes, I remember you did. I remember no, I you texted me right after the movie. It was very good. Yes. Yeah. I know. I didn't. The King of Monsters. It doesn't set up as much of. Kong as I want, but mm-hmm. I'm fine with the tease mm-hmm. if it pays off next year. Oh, if it comes out next year. Are they filming oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they might it's, be delaying shot. It. it's been oh. shot, but there was like... Might need extensive reshoots. There was rumors that they were going to push the release date, but then those rumors were pushed back because they're like, nope, it's Ooh. coming out in March. They did a rewrite on the rumors. Yeah. yeah. That there were reshoots. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if they are doing reshoots, I just want to let everybody know it's fine. The only reason they would do reshoots is because they figured out that Godzilla winning that fight would be stupid hey. and yeah. inaccurate. Mm. Because Kong is going to. But he's arc. got the acid breath. That, that's, Asshole. That's adorable. Atomic uh, breath. Yeah. He's got the acid. Um, Kong has got nothing. King Kong, is, in previous iterations of King Kong, Kong ain't got Godzilla, nothing on me. Kong uh, has fur that uh, does not. Uh, <laughs> it's fire. Incinerate. It's fire retardant. Oh, that's fucking convenient. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that's a really a plot point in a movie. What kind of like? weird Darwinism is that? We're like, yeah. the fuck is able to grow the fucking fur that was only repellent to one specific type of breath. All right, uh, when was the last time you visited Skull Island? <laughs> oh, <laughs> because they have a lot of weird things there. Not atomic yeah, yeah. breath. My father would take us there every summer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, father, the apes are playing again. Uh, look, one of them's fighting a T-Rex. Uh, uh. I'm so excited for that movie. Are mm-hmm. you? Yeah, King of the Monsters like, was everything. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be great, and, and nothing at Comic-Con. It, too, 
is going to have footage at Comic Con. It's, oh. Yeah. It too. Not at Hall H though. Not, not no, it's so like thing. Really? I don't even know experience. So, Every year I say I'm gonna go down on Wednesday and I'm gonna go to that Scare Diego thing where they show like footage of something and I don't know where it is. Mm. I don't know where it is. I don't, also don't think the pun Scare Diego is as good as they think it is. No, that, Scare Diego. They should use like gas lamp in it. You know, mm. like gas. No lamp, because it's dark. I don't know. But, okay. like, you know, okay. you know what I mean? That was your first try. Yeah. That was my first try. Yeah. Okay. That's well, on the top draft. of my head. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't yeah. in the pre-pro meeting. That's okay. We're, we're ideating. Um, mm. So, but we can come up with a better term than Scare Diego. Yeah. For horror movies in San Diego. San Diego! Mm. Oh! <laughs> That's better. That is that better. Is, that is good. That is That's good. the answer. <laughs> there we go. Just we got extended. Oh. oh! I don't know. <laughs> I've grown to hate Comic-Con, though. I love it, man. My first experience with Comic Con wasn't my best one. When you slept, uh, when you had to stay yeah, out all that was night. Like five years ago now. But also, I've learned <laughs> I can't get over it that easy. I can't get over it that easy. You've been to like four different. No, I know that. <laughs> but every experience. Brian's gonna be such a great therapist. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, right? when I was a kid, that was like five years. Yeah, ago. get over it, you fuck. <laughs> oh fuck! But it was also. <laughs> Go to your eye. Brian killed me. The beer went up into my nose. <laughs> But oh it's also God, it burns. Uh, when w- oh <laughs> Chris Coors Light in the nostrils. <laughs> you got attacked by a shark and lost both legs. That was like eight years ago. <laughs> Grow them back. It's not even that though. It's not even that. Well, no, wait. I I want to hear about the experience that year though. No, you no, I've told that. So you many slept times. in line. Uh, yeah, with- but that's not even the worst of it. Okay, what was the worst of the it? The worst of it is just working it every year. <laughs> yeah, and then. Other people are being babies because they couldn't get into a, a party. Well, yeah, there's a lot of that. You know? Yeah. And then you see them uh. like, oh, working real hard, but then they're at a fucking party all day. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're more the- worried about other people having the, like... No, it's not even... No, no, it's it's that, but then when they're complaining around you mm. and after then you're, you're doing all the Because you're work. working into the night. So yeah. you're like editing. You have your phone right here, and you're editing, and then you are looking to see all the people bitching about oh, not no, getting No, no, at that yet. point, I'm not following them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or I've muted them. He has to hate search them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I would I would literally yeah, I have to hate search them. You know? Let me check out this yeah. person. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, but like, time. Yeah, it'd yeah. be like someone coming into a ballroom, like, oh, I got to shoot this video. I'm like, you were out partying last night till two in the morning. Yeah, right. Good for you. Right. You right. fuck. I, I try to keep it classy when I am hungover. Yeah. <laughs> and I know how. How much harder you guys work? Mm. So I'm like, I don't want to complain. The Brian production <laughs> yeah, crew. don't com- never complain. Once you get out of that you door, fucking Jesus dare. Christ! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christian, God, we'll forget it for five years. Uh, no, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> Here's the thing with me that like, like, wait, I hold grudges. I don't I get into so. parties. Yeah. I don't get into all the parties. Yeah. I get into most of them. I don't get into all the parties. <laughs> but if, if, if I didn't get into a party for whatever reason, the one thing I'm not, first, I'm never gonna bitch on social media about no, it because it's like the coolest thing you do on social media. Specifically, tweet at the person that was hosting the party yeah. and complained oh, yeah. to them that, about it. You've seen it. that before? No, not that, but I like uh, okay. I, I, I hate Nerd HQ. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why am I not? Like, Couldn't yeah. get into the at EW party, and uh, it's like they're not Delta. <laughs> yeah. They're, like, they're not going to give you a free badge they're the not, next like, oh, year. I'm sorry. I would rather go to a, another drinking establishment Hard Rock. where beers are easier to get because beers oh, are those parties... So they're free. That's the other thing. All I need is just a fucking bar Party. anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, and all of the gas lamps is just yeah. full of that, too. Yeah. 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 And uh, Or hotel room, for that matter, Cody. Yeah, I think that we, work as well. we yeah. can pull a Houston. Yeah. Hotel bar? Mm. You can bring Ooh, Houston to San bar. Diego. Yeah. Do a, uh, a trash can uh, little ice box. The, uh, the, the white trash cooler. I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what you call Why, it. That's my that's my trademark. <laughs> that's your trademark. Yeah. I don't want to take it. Yeah. I'll take anybody else's, but not yours. Yeah, the mm. white the white trash coolers when you're in a hotel room and you take the re- it, usually it's the recycling bin. Mm. You take the recycling mm-hmm. bin. Well, so it's not even you're ice not a barbarian. Yeah. You, I mean, you put you, you, yeah. you take your six pack. You put this at the bottom <laughs> of the recycling bin. Then you walk it out to the ice machine and then you dump ice on top of it. Mm-hmm. And then I like to pour a little bit of water in there. Get the ice, you know, oh, get, get everything marinating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then the next day, when you have your uh, your big show, you're doing. You brought one nice shirt that got wrinkled mm-hmm. in the uh, your baggage, and so you hang it in the shower and you turn the hot water Steam on. It. That's called the redneck. Dry cleaners. We learn new things today. Rock and I engage in both of those acts just about every weekend I'm on the road. Yeah, I was going to say, because you, how, at, at this point, because I remember, I don't know if it was what? I was just about to say, how often do you drink, Mark? Let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. How often do you, do you drink more than you shower? We lead into that. We don't just ask right away. You're cried in the shower? Keep it's fucking having, great. Uh, you 
keep having family members walk in. Walk in. And I'm like, what? what is the guy? What yeah. is it? Uh, no, I remember. The Wanger Host intervention. <laughs> and it's all you guys looking so solemn in the thumbnail. Like, we had to talk about Mark. Here, take a seat next to the trash can. Um, no, uh, I remember. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. You you were saying you travel like 32 weeks out of the year. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah, this year it's probably going to be uh, 30. Okay. Even, I think. Fucking two weeks you're slacking. But that, well, no, with Schmodowns, okay. too. Because yeah, there's sure. a couple Schmodowns oh, yeah. I'm doing that are not, that I'm not adding stand up on. Mm. I'm just going to do the Schmodown. Mm. Um, so it's probably going to end up being 32 or 33. Is that more relaxing for you, or are you just like, eh? Um, I actually haven't done that yet, so I'll figure it out. Okay. But um, I, I mean, I really like stand up a yeah. lot. So <laughs> yeah. I always want to do it. It's a nice little I'm package, too, for people that want to see more of you or just anyone out there. Like, yeah. If, Someone's traveling to some a certain somewhere, and they're going for a few days. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, Ellis is performing. Cool, I'll see that. And then the next night we'll go see Shmo down. That's the goal. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, really like cool. like most of the ones that we originated, like despite what you may hear, is that I had those gigs set up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> before the Shmo down. Ah, <laughs> oh, right I see. Yeah. Ah. Now I did. I I did plan my New York one for August thirtieth and the oh, 31st. that was yeah, that was Shmo down, uh -huh. and then I was like. Let me add on that day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it goes both ways. Now. I did uh, when you were in Vegas. My my dad was in Vegas, and I, and I didn't tell him. Like my <laughs> nobody gave me a book after. <laughs> <my son. laughs> that was like funny. My, my friend Mark's doing stand up. It was at yeah. MGM, right? Uh, it was at MGM. I was like, yeah. he's at MGM. If you guys want to do something during that weekend, it is with mm -hmm. most things. He didn't value my opinion apparently because he <laughs> wasn't able to make it. But I'm uh, sure it would have been a great show. Man, it uh, was fun, man. It was fun. Brad Garrett. Uh, it's Brad Garrett's comedy club. Yeah, and he was actually there mm. hosting. Hmm. Because, like, so he's the biggest name on the lineup. He he goes up and, and okay. opens the show, does, like, 30. Oh. And he's kind of like uh, Bob Saget where, like, you know him. People know him from TV. He's, like, yeah, the yeah. clean, you know, funny guy in a sitcom. And he can be he can be filthy. Oh, he's a dirty guy. Hysterical. Oh. <laughs> he's a dirty guy. Dirty guy. <laughs> he's a dirty boy. Oh, he's one of those dirty He's a comments, dirty really? daddy. Oh. Uh. And he oh, gets geez. you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring your kids to the dirty show. You're filthy. <laughs> You're a filthy mess. I'm going to oh, clean you up. Yeah. Does it it's come like with a free towel? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> He's a dirty boy. Oh. Wipe that off your face, you dirty <laughs> slut. But I know what you mean. <laughs> you got to take a shower after you watch that show. Yeah. Yeah. People, people, well, Bob Saget makes a joke. People expect him, expect to see him doing Danny Tanner, and he's a dirty guy. He's a dirty guy. <laughs> so dirty. I don't know why we progressively get creepier and creepier, but just, oh, he's dirty. <laughs> Some of the drinks you get are just sweat in the glass. <laughs> <laughs> so dirty, sweaty. <laughs> I'm really going out on a limb here, Brian. I'm running out of dirty jokes, so I'm, I'm trying to I'm going to slap you around, you dirty, filthy animal. You. Just a dirty boy. His toes taste so sweaty. Uh -huh. He needs to teach you a lesson, dirty boy. Get to his toes. <laughs> I can see in your eyes. The first time you said, oh, he's a dirty guy, and you were just thinking about those toenails. He looked he was, right at you. He was he, like, oh, he's he, a dirty guy. He's, he's staring into my soul. <laughs> oh, yeah, like so eye contact. Oh. The little eye contact that I make. <laughs> right he looks at the ground for 90% of this show, except for he's a dirty, dirty guy. <laughs> Like he was doing something completely different. He's putting a puzzle together, and then he hears that. Oh, oh he's a dirty guy. He's a dirty guy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back uh, to the Dirty Guys podcast. This week, our dirty boy is Brad Garrett. Is your favorite movie Dirty Grandpa? Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, is it? No. Dirty work with Norman. Dirty McDonald. work. That's what I was yeah. trying to think of. Dirty work. Dirty work. Uh, 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 um, directed by Bob Zaget. Oh. Hey, look at me. that. Well Damn. done. Dirty slut, you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are, are you doing a... Sorry, I don't have yeah, the, you know the pants on. on. I, I just see you blue. hitting random buttons. <laughs> he just likes to hit colors on yeah, the yeah, board. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. oh, it's blue. Yeah. I, I like love this. blue. This is a dirty button. I like this Dirty. <laughs> we don't touch that button. <laughs> Let's take a call. There's never anybody <laughs> Brian's got his own show going on in his head. <laughs> what happens if I move this lever? Like nothing. It's not plugged in. Uh, that's why we wear headphones. I know. Uh, I someone know. forgot there as you dirty boy, you. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even me. Brian. I forgot it. That was the last time he looked at me <laughs> until the dirty guy comment. And he's like, I don't have show. headphones. He's like down here. Yeah. And then just, oh. Yeah. 
It's like the uh, what's the SNL sketch, the Dateline sketch. Oh, <laughs> Bill Hader. Bill Hader. You did. Oh. Oh. What's his name? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the, who's the guy? He, he did. He like met him recently. And there I was a saw video that, with him. That video was great. He was like so nervous and and geeking out. Yeah. It was uh, what's his name? Um, is it Chris? Is it the guy with like? <laughs> it's not Chris Hansen. It's like know. the guy with like the really old face. <laughs> yeah, oh. but he, he yeah, yeah he's got white like slick. Combed over hair. I watched. I, I when I was in Vegas, I I so I wouldn't be a dirty guy. <laughs> I went like right back to the hotel most nights just because I didn't want to like go out and party like every oh, night because yeah. I was doing a week in Vegas. It's a long time. Keith Morrison. Yeah, yeah. And I and I and I got sucked into Dateline. So mm. I watched Dateline like I solved like three yeah. murders a night. And, <laughs> and, but it's yeah, it's that guy. Yeah. And I've never seen Hater's impression. I've mm. heard him do it on like mm-hmm. a podcast, but I've never seen it. Yeah, and now knowing that that's the guy he's doing, that is so funny. <laughs> it's just such a weird, obscure reference too. Like yeah. no one, no one thinks of that. You yeah. do the obvious like impression of someone; it's something from something big and famous. But it's like the guy from Dateline. But he's always got a couple. And my favorite look that he does is when somebody's explaining that they're like, <laughs> yeah. he walked uh, into a closet uh, and then he found the body. <laughs> it's half when when you get the closet, he looks at you like you're lying, like. Oh, <laughs> that's not you accurate. Walk into yeah. A closet? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite thing to watch in like hotel rooms. It's just like not, I'm not saying like Dateline shitty TV, but like I like mm-hmm. watching cheaters in like hotel rooms. Cheers or cheaters? cheaters. cheaters. Yeah, I don't know why. Is that the one where they put like the infrared thing on like the thing so you can see if they're boning in the bed? It's kind like of like oh, they, they, they got like they, they got set like, up like X's together in the same room or some shit. Oh, right? I don't know about that. Isn't they that got like like fucking show them, I think. They got like Probably. night vision, night mm. vision that are okay. like looking at them and they're making out in like a hotel room or something yeah. like that. And she's like, "You fucking dick! <laughs> why did you do that?" Then the host of that gets stabbed. He did, but I don't know if that's fake or not. With a Some dirty guy. Knife. He got yeah. stabbed like on a. <laughs> he was a dirty boy. <laughs> You've been dirty boy. <laughs> You're filthy. I'm gonna stab you. Uh, I don't know. I think that was like on a boat too, but yeah. I don't know if it was fake. Hmm. Could have been fake. You think like it was part of the show or it was like news outside? It was like of the in show. the show. Oh, like probably. I think like he got yeah. stabbed. Hmm. How did he get to the boat? Mm. Like did he like ride like he a James Bond? He was dirty Bond, like, and he needed to get washed. <laughs> he swam there. <laughs> To get a little rinsed <laughs> off. Huh? No, I got some seaweed on me. I am he dirty. wanted to get wet. Damn, <laughs> filthy. Every time I watch a movie in a hotel, there's either there's always one of the Jurassic <laughs> Park movies. Oh on yeah, there. oh it's like Jurassic you know Park I mean? three on it's TNT. It's never usually the first one. It's always either the second or yeah, third. They can't get the yeah. rights to the first. No, one. it's always uh-uh. on TNT yeah. or Sci Fi Channel or some shit. Mm, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh man, I used to watch the Sci Fi Channel all the time. Yeah. Some shitty movies on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was awesome. in my college uh, when I was living in the dorms. Every, mm. like, Friday night whenever there was a new sci-fi movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah once everyone's sci-fi. partying, you're uh, watching yeah. the sci-fi channel. Oh, yeah, I did not go out much. Fuck, yeah. yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. I stayed Love clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Brian, he was a filthy boy. <laughs> I'm not. Brad is. <laughs> Brad's a dirty guy. Uh, How would you describe your comedy, Mark? Oh, I'm a filthy boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You dab your toe in a, uh, in a so little you're bit a of sweaty guy on stage. <laughs> you don't you don't love the filthy? Bring on the filthy. I uh you like the filthy you curse sometimes. And I, I curse, you yeah. curse a lot, yeah. But depending on how the set's going, um I'll I'll curse or get filthy, but like I don't know there's a couple of jokes that I've done that I wrote more recently that I uh uh th- that are just like dirtier. I, I oh, don't yeah, want to like yeah. censor it, but yeah. it's like <laughs> like blow jobs and uh shit like that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But um Jeez. but like yeah, I, I try not to be too filthy. Mm. I don't like to say bad words on stage for no for for no reason. Yeah, because because yeah, yeah. I know that a couple times during a set, I would. I there's like a couple jokes I have that I really want to drop an f bomb, mm. and it it's so weird to do stand up and realize that if I say fuck here mm. when I say it in five minutes, it's not going to have and it never does. impact yeah. never yeah. has the same impact. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We saw you, me and Brian, Spend saw you fucks wisely yeah. uh, a few weeks ago. At and the at the store, yeah. and it was great because I've seen you a couple of times. Oh, but it was it's it's been a process recently there. Recently there, just just because I'm trying to do all new stuff now. Oh yeah, stuff yeah. that is on the special. I want to retire, right? Uh, and so it's just like feeling <laughs> out like where what new bits because there is that actually the Dateline thing mm-hmm. where I talk about the guy getting arrested because <laughs> he was at Home Depot. Yeah, and he yeah. was buying equipment to bury his wife. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's like. That that's going to be really funny. Yeah, but it's not. I don't think it's there yet. Well, so. it was it was 
great seeing you in that way because we I've seen you a few times. But yeah, I'm sure you've yeah. seen him more than yeah. me because you yes, love I going have. to the store. Ryan likes to go he's a there lot, every the way shows. too every fucking weekend. much. Every but in the front row, in the front row, have you have you actually been in one of his shows in the front? I never sit in the front. Okay, if they put me in, yes, you have. I am. Oh, yes, you have. Really? Yes, you have. I don't. I have. I'm terrified to be in the front of a comedy show. I don't want to be called out. Yeah, I know because like. Especially yeah. knowing you, that'd be weird. Yeah. No, and like every time I went a little dirty, you look <laughs> right at Brian, yeah, dirty guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like looking at him for approval. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's just, like, was that too much? <laughs> <laughs> he, he smokes a cigar. <laughs> like he's we don't just have smoke in here chairs, anymore. It's just yeah. Like it's a cabana nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take a beer, please. Um, no, but seeing you recently was great because it was it, it felt like a nice change of pace because you mm-hmm. were almost like doing crowd work for yeah, like the yeah, first yeah. the first half the of the crowd. set. Yeah, yeah. And I I've I've always loved your crowd work too. Even like when you work it into your set and yeah. you like spot someone out. Like I remember I think it might have been at the Ice House when uh I took Amber to first see the see you the first time. Mm-hmm. I saw you at the Ice House. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I did the early show. Oh, that's right. That was show. the same night. The and then we saw you guys and leave and you were like, all right, bye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Okay. Um, you were there. Five years ago? Yeah. Five years ago. Yeah. yeah. Still bitter like about it. <laughs> <laughs> Get over it, A little man. bitter about it. It wasn't that fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I remember you did it. You, you were like, when you started, you, you were kind of working with the crowd. You pointed somebody out yeah. b- based off of like the button up t-shirt that he was wearing and then you said something Such about like asshole, you, 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 oh, look at this guy's you dumb shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole but you like you like based off of his shirt you're like you probably drive this kind of van and at the like the very last joke the yeah. punchline call back. you call back to that like ah. way later i was like oh <laughs> it was great <laughs> I didn't say that like I didn't I didn't scream yeah. that. Like stand up. Oh! Yeah. That is my favorite thing that you do when what, we're filming scream? when we're filming schmuck dance. Oh, <laughs> and I do the scream. Oh, yeah. You just hear this like this like Dude. rebel yell. Like oh, I feel oh. you haven't done that in a while. No, because now it's like sarcastic. Now it's kind of like uh, a yeah, yeah. I'm kind of being an asshole. You about can it. bring it. I think it's retired long enough. Yeah, <laughs> not all the time. Spend it like I spend a fuck on stage. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes like like if we have like the I think the collision the like if we do a live event because mm-hmm. um, I'll be going in and out of the door and then back into the control booth. Sometimes like when they start cheering, I'll open the door and be like yeah, like just scream <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> fucking kill him, <laughs> kill just scream. and then whoever's like right by the door because. Idiots stand by the door sometimes, yeah, and they, I'll just yeah. scream in their face, and then just like walk out and go back inside. Yeah. That's how that's how you assert your dominance. Yeah, as mm-hmm. a, as a I'm a group. man, damn yeah. it. Mm-hmm. He's a dirty um, guy. <laughs> <I'm> a d- <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm at your at your shows though, and I when like go to the person next, I was like, I know him. <laughs> that's I funny. Know. Yeah, uh, my my mom and uh, my aunt came to see me in uh, New York one time, and they were like they were very happy, um, but they were also like. Like a little, it, put off's the wrong word, but it was one of those shows where it's like a comedy club of like 150 people, mm-hmm. and and they were they were all fans, mm-hmm. and they're just like surrounded, and it's like you you they don't they didn't want to talk about me too loud. Yeah, my mom and my aunt didn't because they don't want people any asking, like, like attention. What was Mark like when he was eight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So yeah. you didn't bring any attention to them. Um, like on, not showed you. N- not up top. But the story I closed the special with, I told that. That was the first time I told it with my mom hearing it. Because, mm. uh, like, we literally didn't talk about what actually happened. And yeah. we never brought it up yeah. until that night when she was actually there. <laughs> and, um, and luckily she was laughing. And, you know, she had a couple glasses of wine by then. Always oh, good. Okay. And, um, yeah. Any, Two drink any, minimum. Yeah. Anytime you tell a story about that, yeah. you, you, want, you want them to be. Well, you'll hear that in the special soon. Bam. Or if you're in uh, San Diego Comic Con next week, you can see him Thursday night. July eighteenth, eighteenth. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, that's coming yeah, up fast. July eighteenth, yeah. you got a seven thirty and a ten thirty show. Seven thirty and a nine thirty. Nine thirty. Excuse me. Uh, two different lineups. Special guests abound. I was gonna try to do two different sets. I mm. still might. Whoa. We'll see how much writing I get done this week. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna try out some new stuff. A lot of, yeah, a lot of new stuff. Woo! So you actually won't see that story on stage that week. Mm. Oh. But you'll see the guy who told the story. Oh. And you it's might see the good. Home Depot joke. Because oh. that's gotten better. Home, <laughs> you say yeah. Home Depot. Home Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah. Did Homie Depot. hate Home Depot as much as I did as a kid? Yeah, a kid, I yeah. still hate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad. I went there a lot. He took me there all the time. And I just <laughs> fucking hated it. I so just much. I turn into you when you're thinking four three because I walk and I'm just like, <laughs> where is anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know where it is. Yeah. Well, because it feels it's, like a toy store, but it's not. 
It is yeah. a toy store. But for adults. Yeah, yeah for adults. It's yeah. nothing but stress when yeah, I was yeah. a kid. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't know what any of this is. There's light bulbs over here. I can mm -hmm. play with these. Yeah, yeah. And I like yeah, the idea yeah. of going there and like I being cool and manly and be like, yeah, I'm going to get a 4 6 and a block 9. I don't know. And a block, block nine. nine. There's mm -hmm. just a rule there at Home Depot. Unlike like like at Target, if somebody in a red vest is helping Brian out, I'm not just gonna walk up to them and yeah. cut him in line. But at Home Depot, that it's happened. totally cool. <laughs> yeah. If if I'm asking you about toilets, see somebody else just walking, yeah. hey man, real quick, screws. Yeah. Where's screw? I'm like, I, I called this yeah. one. This is mine. Hey bro, can you tell me where the yeah. power drills are? Yeah. I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, like, just walk around Home Depot, <laughs> not actually buying anything, just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah. For where are your boxes? Where are yeah. you moving boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yeah. those. Yeah. Oh, those. Are pretty... You're gonna get the That's bubble the wrap by there. Yeah. Uh, moving boxes. Yeah. No. Yeah. When I when I when I had a girlfriend, we went because uh, you wanted to get plants. That's the Ooh. worst section at Home Depot. No, succulents. Oh, it, yeah, it, it was. Just, it's like you More like suck your life. At mm. least yeah. I look like I can look at the grills and be like, ah, oh, in a different life. Mm. I would know how to do this, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. But like, like I can just envision myself drinking a cold one and grilling burgers and you know yeah. waving high like yeah. to all the people I actually invited to the barbecue. <laughs> yeah. And then actually, but, went, but when yeah. you're in the plant section, it's just like there, there's no, no, there's no. There's I, it's like as soon as these get bought, guess what you get to do? Uh, other horrible <laughs> activities, mm -hmm. which is gardening. Yeah. Oh no, can't do it. Gotta no. Not doing it. You gotta yeah. water them. My parents are yeah. like so yeah. proud yeah. of their like garden like in, <laughs> in their backyard. Mm -hmm. like, you know what you're gonna do? It's yeah. like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, gotta you got a baby in one hand, you're watering the plant in the <laughs> other hand. Mm -hmm. smoking, a a hot dog. smoking a cigarette. <laughs> hold my hold my cigarette, kid. That's why I want. If I get at home, I want like the the desert fucking just rocks. And like a cactus, rocks and a cacti. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, I'm all for that. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good and stuff. And a bush, you know, <laughs> one bush, a natural bush you that's already there. Every morning, just pour a glass of water on it. You're good yeah. To go. yeah, yeah, piss on it, give yeah. it some little flavor, yeah. some acid breath. <laughs> Take a sip of coffee, you just dump it. <laughs> out <laughs> on it. Yeah, you're and good yeah. for a week. No, 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 no. Yeah. The cream is what what does yeah, yeah. the trick. Yeah. <laughs> you walk up to your front door, and that like fake rock that you hide the key under <laughs> yeah. is turned over with the thing because like you came home drunk three weeks ago <laughs> oh, and never shit. replaced the key. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my car somewhere. Honey, we got to replace the key rock. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I did want to bring up one more thing before we wrap it up. Uh, oh, here's uh, the intervention. Here we go. Here we go. Hey guys, I got something to talk about. All right. Oh. Uh, All right. No. How it's, long's it been? Is it how much you hate fireworks? Because <sighs> yeah. I hate fireworks. You do not like fireworks. I fucking hate you it. Really I don't get hate it. it. Is that why you, you didn't see come it to once? my barbecue? That's Ooh. why I know your place had a good view of the fireworks. Did you did guys, did you guys have view. a nice view of like fireworks and stuff? <laughs> yeah. It was it great. It was a great view. It was, it was a great view. We had a 360 <laughs> view. All oh. around the road. Well, see, we went wow. up to the Burbank Hills, and we went off to the side of the road, and we saw like all of Burbank that was, I'm pretty sure it's illegal in Burbank, but like out like Northridge or, or, or if it was like Sherman Oaks, like that whole area mm -hmm. was just booming. Yeah. That yeah. sounds great, but have you seen fireworks from a living room in West Covina? That's how, oh, that's what, at the end of the night, lovely. we were up, like trying to go to sleep at like 1130 and then, <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. right outside the window. I'm yeah. like, oh, jeez. People work here? Yeah, that's went, the like, problem. Throughout the weekend, too. Like, oh, they were burning yeah. off all the ones that they hadn't used yet on 4th of July, and it's like, yeah. it was a whole weekend thing. For it's like July days. 6th. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was, and it's, you hear, like, a blast from beep. Then What's you wonder if it's, like, if it's gunshots or not, and you're like, hold yeah. on, what are they? What's yeah. going on? What's, the, what's yeah. the mindset? Yeah. Th it's mm. like, you know what? Somebody is going to see me <laughs> set this off on July 6th. They're going to be like, you know what? We could use this kid in the show next year. I guarantee it's just a lot of, oh, we got leftover fireworks. You want to fucking set them off. Yeah, it's like five o'clock. And you also get the yeah. practice rounds like on July first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, oh, that one's gonna play well. <laughs> yeah, at the big dance. A lot of illegals for sure. All there. Yeah, it's all illegal. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I remember like buying fireworks when I was a kid. That used to be like the most exciting activity possible because i lived in virginia and they were illegal mm. but you could go to north carolina they're still illegal then you get past north carolina south carolina Shit. had this place called south of the border Ooh, dirty. and they sold fireworks they also sold the uh the they looked like a, a switchblade but it's a comb mm. so you're like i will fucking kill you oh, those <laughs> are always cool. yeah, yeah. 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 right so my brother and i were most excited about getting a switch comb because our family's like going down like myrtle beach because we, we got to stop it south of the border yeah so we walk out with like a bunch of like smoke balls and stuff like in our pockets so our parents couldn't see mm -hmm. but setting off is setting off fireworks after curfew, it was a it was a pretty good activity. I miss doing day. fireworks. I haven't yeah. like done actual fireworks in you years. You guys like uh, yeah. smashed up the M80s, so they would just like or not the M80s, the um, firecrackers, the Piccolo Pete's. Mm. Yeah, Is that how they sound. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Foley. All right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was isolated too. You can take that later. Yeah. Our next short film is about fireworks. So there you go. <laughs> Boom. It's a metaphor. Yeah. Uh, I've never lit a firework in my life. Really? Too have, scared? Yeah. I was way too scared. Oh, you're yeah. still too scared? Yeah. I won't do it now. There's a Tampa Bay Buccaneer who currently has like seven fingers yep, because
Jason Pierre Paul. JPP. It's still JPP. JPP. That damn French name. I will not stand for the Buccaneers and corrections here, okay? Not one, really? Not no, a smoke bomb? You never no. had like firecrackers that held it in your hand? It sounds for... like the scene from Joe Dirt. He's like, you mean to tell me <laughs> you don't have any whisk? Who's Skidoos? Who's, who's Skidoos? Skidoos? <laughs> With or without the Skidoos <laughs> stick? <laughs> well, there no, you go. You stick it up a bullfrog's ass, you blow it up, <laughs> then you put the pieces back together. Let's firecrackers at it. Oh, there was, a, uh, there was an uh, ugly kid. Remember, uh, you guys ever hear the band Ugly Kid Joe? No. They were a heavy Joe metal Young. band, yeah, no. and uh, they they had a huge hit song uh, called that's in Wayne's World, the first Wayne's World, called "Everything About You." Mm. I hate everything about you. So it's a good metal track, and the album for that uh, that featured that song had this like like their mask. I was like, "Ugly Kid Joe" was like this little kid. Like he was a dirty boy, and he like had <laughs> oh, his yeah, backwards hat, and there was like artwork of him running around chasing a cat. With the dynamite stick shoved up the cat's ass, and he was what? trying to light it. Because he's a bad boy. <laughs> he's a bad boy. Yeah, but huh. no, I don't set off fireworks. I, mean, okay. I, I like if actually if I'm at a barbecue and people are doing it, like I go yeah away. somewhere else. Oh yeah, there was there was you one time enjoy being in the vicinity of them. Nope, yeah. I'll watch them from afar. Uh, but if somebody's set them off up close, I I. I I just spent the last hour drinking with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not, and, and how is it going to enrich my life mm -hmm. if I'm like right next to you when you like, am, am I going to be telling a story about fireworks the next day? And they're like, yeah. what, what, how close were you? Yeah. Oh, you weren't right next to him? Doesn't count. Oh, there, there was one time I had few years ago, some people like, next, I was at some party at someone's house I didn't really know. And then next door, they had their own like makeshift fireworks, like the big old ones that shoot mm -hmm. up in the air. They had their own pipes and everything they probably got from Home Depot. Check it out. <laughs> and it just straight up blew up in front of us and shards wow. of the pipe just was at, like my ex's dad got hit in the face by like a PCP Jeez. pipe just like all over the place and it just like exploded and they were like oh sorry yeah so yeah, I've witnessed a, uh, a fireworks fight all right Bottom let me rockets. tell you guys oh, some, that's some, the, uh, it was about Roman candles mostly, Roman mostly candles. both of those things were involved uh, white people like going to the desert okay yes. guys oh, they, fuck they yeah. go there to ride yes, dirt, bikes dirt bikes and quads and all that mm -hmm. shit and when they're drinking and there's two different camps oh. that, that know each other, but they want to have some fun. They were shooting fireworks at each other, mm, and I wow. hid in that trailer like a fucking scared child. <laughs> yeah. man. I was not, not ready. Not this white boy. No, no, no way. Way. I was not ready. Nothing no. says a uh, twenty pack of Hanes white oh. beater undershirts <laughs> <laughs> like a fireworks fight. You know what uh, that clear. sounds like? A responsible father. There we go. That's oh. right. That's yep. what it is. Protected his young. Yeah. Yes. That's actually not. I don't know why. How we got off on that. What but, did you want to talk about? I'm uh, sorry. The I chef this. show on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find a way to segue into this. Oh, the uh, one with uh, Favreau. John Favreau. Remember that yeah. firework that exploded into a burger? Go on. There it is. Chef Boom. show. Mm. I'm sure there's fireworks at some point. Yeah. No, uh, I watched <laughs> Chef over the weekend. <laughs> the new but... firework burger at Chili's. <laughs> like, <laughs> we bring the burger out. Oh. We light it on fire yeah, right there, and so it explodes. The bun into is blue. Yeah. The bun is blue. Uh, uh, no, I got really obsessed with it, and like now I'm obsessed that I want to cook. I the understand show the it's, movie. it's an obsessible show. <laughs> well, I watched the well, movie. Well, Mongo, if you can't get yeah. up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you dirty boy. Let me finish, and I'll make you clean. I watched the movie, uh -huh. and I, I love watching that show. movie. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wait, the wait, wait. No, I know, but like, hold on. Hold on. The, the cadence that you asked it with <laughs> yeah. was like a half beat slower than Brian, how it was five years, years ago, talking. Brian. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if he, just, he said he just saw the movie. I did say the show, and then I was going to follow up like, because yeah. I watched the movie. Ah. It inspired me, <laughs> With and then the I started show watching the show. Or the <laughs> God damn, damn it. Mark. Five years from now, I'm going to bring this okay. shit up, and I'm just going to piss me off. Five minutes ago, he was yeah. so excited to bring up this chef thing, yeah. and I derailed it with fireworks. Yeah. I do not want to talk I'm about so it. I'm so sorry. No, I, I will ratify your obsession, because I haven't watched a lot of it, but I saw a little bit of it, and it was Favreau. The show or the movie? And <laughs> Bill Burr. And they were talking about making like a grilled cheese sandwich or something. Oh, yeah, they do it. And yeah. it's, it's it's really well done. It's incredible, because it's it, the, a grilled cheese sandwich. Or something. I'm like, oh, fine, it's a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. But it's the most simple thing, but they use like four different cheeses, and mm -hmm. the way they grill it, it just looks have you seen chef the movie i've seen the movie okay but not the tv show not the tv show the okay show. let's go watch yeah. they're that both up. streaming right now All on right. i think on netflix watch no, the movie the movie is okay not. that's <laughs> why i was like, then the movie is, is streaming on, on amazon. amazon yeah slut <laughs> you should have <laughs> let off with you what platform you were streaming on then i'm Brian sorry yeah. next yeah. time i'll put it on the rundown and we'll go over <laughs> it before the show no, starts i was watching because i was with my family and i was like oh chef's a good movie but the, the only show thing, the only thing's available <laughs> oh, on netflix no. is the show it's a good show <laughs> <laughs> almost like, it's very easy show. yeah it's it, it, it's tough to watch for me because i'm like this took so much effort 
It, it just it feels like so light and mm. fluffy, like these yeah. nice bite sized fluffy, morsels. nice bite sized, nice. It, mm. It's in food terms, mm. and uh, <laughs> yum. And it, but it, it, you know how much prep that took. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hate yeah. cooking shows because they always have all the ingredients like right there, and I'm like, that mm -hmm. took nine hours. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's cool because he has some cool guests. He has Robert Rodriguez mm -hmm. on one episode, nice. and Robert Rodriguez like breaks down cooking because he likes mm -hmm. to cook a lot now. He breaks down cooking and compares it to uh, filmmaking as well. And I was like, oh fuck, that's cool. Like I never thought of it like that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That could be really cool or really pretentious. pretentious. Yes. That's eh, Robert Rodriguez. But it was cool. Yeah. Pretentious. Oh, but if Aronofsky earth. said it, it would be a pretentious. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 They had Gwyneth Paltrow. I saw that one. That one was good. Yeah. I like that That's one. That's the one where she said she didn't know she was in Homecoming. It was funny. And then everyone that, was yeah. going after her. Yeah. And then Downey was in one, I think. Tom Holland and, and him and the Russo brothers are, and Kevin uh, Feige are like just eating. They're not actually cooking. Oh, There's just like okay. a scene between all of yeah. them where they're but all I shooting. I did see the, the Bill Burr one too. Bill Burr one's funny. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's a good show. Do you like you guys like cooking shows at all? No, well, no. I gotta go. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not a fan at all. You don't like the you British seem like a barbecue, Mark? I, I know I seem like a barbecue. I come off like a barbecue. I don't cook anything. Mm -hmm. I uh I here's I will show off on social media that I cook something mm -hmm. when in reality I went to Whole Foods, <laughs> got the barbecue chicken, and all I literally did was heat it up in a thing. A microwave mm -hmm. or a pan. In a pan. Yeah, you don't show off a microwave. But yeah. if it's in a pan, nobody oh. knows if you made that like from scratch, like if you raised yeah. the chickens or not. True. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. true. Yeah. But uh, no, if I want barbecue, I go to Chili's. Wood Ranch. Thank you. Uh, fucking idiot. Yeah. Wood Ranch, huh? Yeah. They're not filthy over there. No, very clean there. Very yeah. clean. No, but it would have been five years ago I would have gone to Chili's. Chili's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it feels they like tried five years ago. Five, I can't. <laughs> talk. It's, 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 like, it's like Mark Riley refusing to go to Chili's because mm -hmm. he almost died eating there five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Five years ago. And then publicly tweeting at them. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Chili's. I think fair that's fan. fair. That's that fair one's fan. fair. Dear uh, Chili's. Well, I'm still in the <laughs> hospital. Yeah. Please I haven't send stopped gift cards. pooping in three days. I'm waiting for the day he double tweets like Chili's and ArcLight. God damn you! <laughs> I got food poisoning and this fire alarm's going off. <sighs> Just do a tweet. Tag as many corporations <laughs> as I can. I'm upset. Say, I've had bad experiences with all of you. Yeah. Who would like to DM me? You yes. Hear me, Albertsons. Let's talk about yeah. this. Oh. Dirty and aisle six. Yeah. Well, Mark, thank you so much for joining oh, us on man. this episode. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I always get sad when these things end. Do you? Thank you, boys. Yeah. I always figure out. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. All right. I'm having a blast. Okay. Every podcast I've ever done in my entire life, <laughs> or thankful. any show for You're that just matter. just thankful it's over. I'm so happy it's done. <laughs> oh, we got like another Patreon section after this. <laughs> so it's got not three right. hours to do. Oh, okay. We I can stay bring for the Patreon? Up. Yeah, just for a little bit. And I get a cut of that. <laughs> you can, yeah. We'll get you some. Uh, I'm going to invoice you. I'll, I'll buy dollar. you a beer that you won't drink. Oh, you drank it. Speaking of one oh, of Oh, not that drink. What yeah, are you bad, doing? My yeah. bad. That was like a year ago, so it's sorry. not five yeah, years yeah. just yeah. yet. Yeah, it's still Ooh. fresh. Still very fresh. That it was, was actually year. really fun. That, that whole great. tweet series of that beer. Yeah, yeah. that was okay. Fun. I don't. He I'm bought me. He this. bought me a Bud Patreon Light. Patreon section. It, it wasn't his fault. He bought me a Bud Light. He brought it now. over, handed it to me. It was warm. Oh. And I'm like, thank you for the gesture because it's the thought that counts. You didn't say thank you. And I. <laughs> No, you said thank you, but you didn't like, oh, and, thanks, I'm and not going to drink then it. Then I took a couple sips, and I'm like, it's warm. I don't want to tell him. So I just set it down, and I was like, I'm going to go get myself a colder model. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then he comes up to me. like He, he looks like he's been waiting in the rain all day. It's because I went home with my new girlfriend. <laughs> he's <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> I was in the corner waiting. I was like, is he going to drink it? Is he going to drink it? Does he pictures, actually fucking drink it? We took pictures with the bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's still, it it's still, still there. Series, right? It was great. Yeah, It's still <laughs> there. <But> so, <laughs> to this day. Some say when the moon is full, you can still <laughs> If we even landed on it. Uh, so it's so the beer he, that never he came gets back, cold. he saw you. He made eye contact. He's like, did you enjoy your... Oh. Yeah, oh, it's, it was it was rough. Uh, he was kind of like Joel Edgerton <laughs> in the gift. <laughs> oh, that's good. Never just, letting it go. Yeah, he keep following me back to my hotel room. I don't let anything go. <laughs> Holding the warm beer. Mark, do you want another sip? <laughs> you know what my favorite book is? Never let me go. <sighs> it was, Have you read bad. that one? No. Wait, why was it's it warm, though? I want to know why. That I don't know. It was in a bottle. That's not my fault. It was in a bottle. Okay. I got it from the bottle. And they just handed um, him will... the bottle. So the bar handed you yes. a warm Apparently. And I was too drunk okay. to tell. And I knew that it was the bottle. Oh, it, okay. it had nothing mm -hmm. to do with him. And I but... don't know Mr. Freeze's temperature, <laughs> what his preference <laughs> right, is. <it's> chill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's a hit, hit your bottle. <laughs> In all the colors, in all the colors, right? When it gets too loud, he did it louder. To call him something. 
Oh, oh too much noise. Blue, blue. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to pickle here. <laughs> Damn it, Mark. Never having Mark on again. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Mark. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he just did it so hard. It's like he was panicking. <laughs> Like, oh, blue. Oh, the guy's getting really loud. Yellow. That's not the one I want. Oh, God. Oh, God, uh, that was funny. Oh, he is uh, good with his fingers and uh, the, <laughs> the board there. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm. Well, Mark. Yeah. Thank anyway. You once again. That's my, that's my <sighs> bone to pick with the entire... Maybe we'll save that. Yeah. Because I have a bone to pick. Oh. Uh-oh. But we can save it for Patreon if you want, or I can yeah. just out this eh, city Out right it. Now. Out him. Uh, the entire uh, city of New York. Oh. Manhattan in general. Oh, yeah. Do not put a premium on uh, keeping their beers cold. On really? Tap into the, it, yep. I almost had to pull a Josh McCuga's dad move and oh. ask for a glass of ice. Oh, for beer? and then dump beer on it. Yeah. Whoa. I want it cold. Mm. I want were it cold. the bartenders nicer than the bartenders in Chicago? They certainly were. Nice. They were not <laughs> at <laughs> Reggie's. Yeah. yeah, not just Reggie's. There was Other another. There too. was another bar we went to where that lady was not nice. That, that white lady was very nice to me. Oh, yeah. I I the problem was. The, oh the that's right. She only and, liked white people. She liked me she a lot. Yeah. yeah. She didn't uh, come up to us. No. And uh, attend. Us. Because you're not white. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she didn't scream at me. Okay. If you're not drinking a PBR, then fuck you. Yeah. But still. Wow. Where, where was that, it? That was, that what was night Reggie's. was this? That, that one was Reggie's. Reggie's. The fuck you one is Reggie's. Oh yeah. Did I tell you guys? I could probably. I don't think I have it saved anywhere. Um. I got a message. From a, from a bartender at Reggie's. And I, did I tell you guys this? No. no. I got, so long story boring. It was, there was a lot of issues with the, the production of the, of the special where I taped it at Reggie's, but uh, these boys, everybody did a great job. So the special is going to be really good. Um, and uh, I, the next day I got a, I got a Facebook message. One of the bartenders found me on Facebook and, and she wrote me and, and she started saying, Hey, I just thought you did a, a really great job. And I know there's a lot of like stuff that you were dealing with that mm-hmm. night. And, uh, it was really enjoyable to watch. And I'm reading the whole thing and I'm like, this is really nice. This made me feel better about the whole yeah. uh, night. And then, mm. and then last week she said is referring to Makuga. She said, Oh, and the guy in Corona pants can suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, well, that kind of... You started off so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. That, that place is a... That was some yeah. sort of pirate ship. Yeah. Oh, wow. was, uh, Yeesh. <laughs> but, well, uh, you guys did great. You can check out that special soon. You can find soon. out more details on that uh, mm-hmm. at Mark Ellis Live. At Mark Ellis Live. Boom. No, yeah. more, no more 5150. Uh, no. I just branding. figured it'd be creepy if I ever hung out with any of the guys in Van Halen. Like, it would be a little... Like we're having a great bit. time. And then yeah. they're like, hey, Mark, what's your Twitter handle? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, Mark, for joining us. We're going to have a little thank bit of a Patreon section. Um, again, next week, uh, depending on when you're watching this, uh, he's going to be at Comic-Con, but more importantly, he's going to be doing stand-up at the what club? American Comedy Company. The American one with the Comedy. eagle. <laughs> That's a crow. <laughs> um, In the Gaslamp District. It's right near Gaslamp. Comic-Con. Tickets at Mark Ellis Live. Dot com. Boom, 7.30, 9.30, some special guests that are going to be there. He's also going to be there for the Schmodown. That's on Saturday. Saturday night, the Joan B. Croc Theater. Joan! I don't know anyone named <laughs> Joan. That's not her name. Do you have a family member named Joan? Your sitcom I catchphrase. Oh, okay. Yeah. Joan! Yeah. Joan! <laughs> Hit the um, buttons, Brian. And uh, this show here you can find on iTunes. We're also on Anchor now, just simply The Wanger Show. It's cool stuff. Subscribe there. Uh, rate, review. We're on Amateur Hour Films. It's a YouTube channel where you can scri- subscribe to. We just came out with a new short film. It's called Teddy. It's great. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, I don't Mark. know why. I'm like, yeah, I know. It is great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Very Thanks, impressive please. piece of work. Great Thank acting you. by Cody. Ish. Brian is also in it. No, no, no. You were great. You were great <laughs> I, as well. I can't. And it Brian might be my like favorite, acting. but I really did appreciate uh, Brian's running form in uh, The Runner. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a real guy who like, jogs all the time. That's true. I don't though. Oh, you, I don't think yeah. he's. Yeah, you think he thinks you're being sarcastic here, Mark. No, 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 no. Uh, you, no, yeah. you really. Yeah, the, the I like your running. Shot. Dorina made Good fun of your running, running for, but yeah, yeah. Mm. fuck Dorina. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's well, get that clean. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, Teddy, you can check it out. Um, yeah, a lot of hard work went into that, and uh, we we actually just shot a new Boom! sketch this weekend with some great peeps, uh, Ken and Grace. Our good friends. They were uh, in it. They made, made nice little cameos in it. I was, was unavailable. Fun. Sorry, I couldn't make it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the day after the barbecue. Uh, it was. Hung over. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was a revenge mm-hmm. not invite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, revenge quick, not invite. quick question: Are you guys doing a uh, the making of Teddy like you did with the runner? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's currently editing that right now. Ooh. Not right now, but yeah, we're making that now. <laughs> 
Like that's the that's the current that's the current buttons are. That's yeah. the yeah. current Nobody project. Nobody thought you were actually cutting it this no. very second. That's yeah. the current project that we're working on right now. Okay. That they'll watch it. Doing it with your toes. Yeah. Editing. It's almost done. That's a dirty yeah. way of editing. Yes. Oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, check that out. Come and then, to my face, motherfucker. motherfucker, this oh. weekend, uh, we're actually going to be releasing uh, our good friend Alex Marzonia's score that he did for Teddy. It's just uh, it's just going to be on YouTube right now. And, nice. Uh, you know, if you guys want it eventually on Spotify, we can figure that out. I know it costs a little bit of money for that. But if you guys demand it, then maybe uh, it, you will receive. And uh, patreon.com slash wangers is where you can get a lot of cool exclusive stuff. Um, like if you were a Patreon supporter, you got to see Teddy a whole week early, which is cool. And you also get to see our next sketch that's coming out. Um, and you'll get to see the making of Teddy. A lot of cool stuff first before everything else. And uh, we're working on some stuff for the near future. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. But uh, we're excited uh, to you know announce it whenever. Yeah, I got to see Teddy on my phone. Oh, you what? A week, you, a week early. Where did uh, you? Oh, oh, I'm gonna say that's what you. I had the uh, Dropbox link. I had the director <laughs> send me a rough cut. <laughs> the dirty link. <laughs> the dirty. <laughs> a little fuzzy that <laughs> one. Huh? Yeah. For now and anytime I send you something, here's a dirty link. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can see the file, it. but it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy's been. Should have seen bad that timeline. Boy. Ooh, uh, dirty timeline. Uh, Brian, take us out. Open it. Nice. Uh, have you looked at the footage from his past? Yeah, it's great. It's yeah, it looks good. Mm-hmm. Why? Is this still the show? Yeah. We're, we're the music's playing right oh, now. Okay. We're just kind of talking over. Oh, it. that's right. He doesn't have headphones. On. No. <laughs> and I'm really gotta wear the headphones. You <laughs> gotta wear them. Uh, yeah, we shot something this weekend. It looks good. I haven't uh, checked out the audio, but I trust it's fine. You were you were on it. Brandon did a good job last time. So yeah. Brandon, Hannah, good friend of the show. Mm-hmm. He helped out. Good crew you got. Took two pictures of that with that guy. Before I, I knew who he was. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. twi- you introduced yourself at twice? At a convention, he took a picture of me, and at a comedy show I did in uh, Rhode Island. Oh. oh. He's an East Coaster in Connecticut. That, yeah, I meant Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody in uh, Danbury. <laughs> Danbury. Danville? Something with Dan in it. Danburg. Well, Mark, you did a Dan good job. Nice. <laughs>